Okay, so this is to show you the steps uh, when you are factory resetting the CI pad and what it needs to what, what needs to be done to set up the device for uh, use. So once you've done the factory reset, it's going to restart. It takes a while, of course, because there's lots of data to unpack and um, you're getting various notifications uh, and uh, hints to install and update stuff. But before you do anything else, scroll down, enable Wi-Fi and connect to the Internet. So now we are connected, so we can go back. Magix, first of all, install Magisk, install. open and it needs to reboot so click OK and now the device will restart again I'm not going to be filming that because uh, it's normal procedure just like every time you are rebooting yeah so the system loaded launcher always allow if you want to use launcher which we are recommending it's uh, a very good app with a host of various features. And now the first prompt you get, super user request for Carpet Manager. You have to grant it, otherwise the Carpet Manager is not going to be working properly. Once you've done that, you can move on to GPS Tune 2 installation. Just click install. And one important thing about GPS Tune, you can't just install it. You need to also open it at least once so that the app can configure the chip properly. So um, this is the standard routine. You're getting it every time you, for the older units, you've been through that already when you were updating from GPS Tune 1 to GPS Tune 2. So I will not be filming that either. Just let the program do its magic. Uh, it, it is doing several cycles, so just wait a couple of minutes until it completely finishes. First of all, it's setting up the GPS chip and then it's downloading the SS data to improve the fixing times and the accuracy. So just let it run the whole cycle. Now you can see that we already have the SS now online updated. Uh, then it's going to be updating the SS now offline. Uh, following that, uh, the chip is uh, going to be ready to be used. But again, important thing is that you need to run the GPS Tune 2 at least once so that it can configure the chip properly, the GPS chip. Uh, then regarding uh, the setup, of course, you have the option between 2 Hz and 5 Hz. Me personally, I'm usually switching to 2 Hz because it's quite sufficient for normal use. And... Um, it reduces the power consumption of the GPS chip. Yeah, we will. We don't need to wait for the. Yeah, okay. This is now offline. It's being flashed. So, in a couple of seconds, we should see the uh, update on the screen. But I don't think we need to wait for that. Yeah, it's done. And if we go back to the launcher, uh, actually the notification has already gone. Some you you see we've we've had some requests about that when you first um, uh, run the operating system after factory reset. This uh, this dock this is called dock. It, it it might be jumping on you. It's basically just to indicate that there's some more available when you slide up, so you just slide up once. Once you've done that, it's, it's going to stop jumping. So don't worry about the jumping. It's basically just a clue for you to know that uh, when you slide up, there's um, some more. The apps, uh, the apps list is going to open. Yeah, and this is it. So that's all the steps you need to do. Once you've uh, performed factory reset, just a few clicks. Uh, maybe just to show you one thing about the Magisk, as I was mentioning earlier, it is very important that you grant the super, super, super user privileges to our Carpet Manager app. Uh, okay, well, sorry, sometimes that happens. <laughs>
we are still working on that. Uh, so to check for, for the case you missed the clue to grant the super user privileges to carpet manager at the beginning or for whatever reason you can always check in Magisk whether the super user privileges have been granted. You go to uh, Magisk, you open this super user slot and you can see carpet manager if it's blue like that it means the privileges are granted if not just click on that it will enable those privileges otherwise the carpet manager will not be working properly yeah so that's it thanks for watching bye